Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Dirt Farmer Maggie and I really enjoy corn on the cob, but what we don't like is the hassle of boiling a bunch of water. And there's only two of us at home as empty nesters, so we like small batches, like maybe two ears at a time. And there's a great solution where you can be eating corn in about five minutes. Stay tuned and I'll tell you all about it. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. We really love corn on the cob, but don't like the hassle normally associated with preparing it. Well, I'm gonna show you a method that my friends Bruce and Diane showed me. Bruce was kind enough this last season to bring down a batch of corn fresh from his garden. And as delicious as the corn was, the tip about how to cook it is even better. And I wanna give, uh, give credit to both Bruce and Diane uh, for both that corn, but also this delicious recipe that you're gonna enjoy. You only need a couple things. One, corn. Number two, you need a little bit of water, and you're only gonna use a couple tablespoons of that water. You need some kind of bag. It can be a bread bag. Uh, it can be um, these kind of bags, a Ziploc bag, anything that is a food safe bag that you're gonna put the corn in with a little bit of water and then you need a place to clean up with. Um, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and let's get this shucked the rest of the way. You can spend as much time as you want on this getting it here. One of the tips that um, you can use is a small brush, even a toothbrush to brush in between to get all this out. I just don't tend to be that finicky about it because it kind of cooks out. Uh, it's easy to lift out, but you spend as much time as you want getting it to where you want. For purposes of this video and for speed, we're going to go ahead and just clean them down to about that level there on both of them. And when you get them to this level here, uh, you're now ready to put them in the bag. Just put them in side by side like this. And I kind of put them head to toe a little bit, put the like that. And then what you're gonna do is pour in a couple teaspoons to a couple tablespoons of water, just enough to keep it moist and trap all the moisture. You're gonna zip it in, keep some air in it like that. That water is gonna work in there. And let's go ahead and take it over to the microwave. All right, let's go ahead and just put it in the microwave here. I'm just gonna set it on the, uh, the turntable here. Let's set it for five minutes. Okay, now we have our corn here. As you can see, it's steamed really nicely in the bag here. We're gonna go ahead and be careful letting out that steam. I'm gonna put it right here and let it come on out. And as you can see, there's a little bit of water there. And these aren't overly hot. There's a little bit of the um, silks left on it. Another thing you can do uh, to remove silk is simply take a dry washcloth and rub them before you put them on there. But I think there's enough off on this. We could break that off, but we're not gonna. I'm just gonna go ahead and do, stick this in here. Let's see what we've got. Yep, that looks like it's plenty cooked. All right, let's just put a little butter here. You can see it's still nice and hot. And of course, a little bit of salt. Now, another thing you might try on your corn on the cob if you haven't done it before, is you can also put butter on there with some lime juice and chopped cilantro. And that's another way uh, to appreciate it. My understanding is that's more from our Latino friends, but is a wonderful way to enjoy the corn on the cob. Well, let's see what we got. Mmm, perfectly done. Wow. Very sweet. Some good eating. This is so good. Alternatively, if you don't like to use a plastic bag, you can also use paper towel. And to do that, you simply go ahead and roll up the corn in the paper towel, tuck it under, like that. 
and then simply saturate the paper towel with just water. Doesn't take a whole lot, but just get that paper towel nice and wet. That's going to even out the heat inside and also moisturize the corn. And then just use a cooking dome like this, and then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bake these two heads for five minutes. Okay, we've gotten this out of the microwave after five minutes. Let's see what we've got. Got a little bit of steam coming right off that. Plenty of moisture was still retained inside. Let's see. Woo, that was pretty hot, so be careful taking that off. There we go. And we'll go ahead and just do that with one of them. Let's turn that around so you can see it easier. And let's put in some um, handles, see if they're soft enough. Yep. Cook nicely, at least from the internal temperature here. There we go. Very nice. And let's just go ahead and see how those kernels look, if they're cooked nicely. Oh, yeah. Nicely cooked. Uh, and so that's ready to butter and salt up, or as I said, you can put some alternative uh, favorite things. Some people even put mayonnaise and Miracle Whip and celery salt and all sorts of things. But there you go. It works this way as well. Hey, let me tell you about another recipe I think you're really going to like. It's a heritage dish called Pasties. Check out the video right over here where Maggie walks you through step-by-step -step how to make this great meat pie you and your family will love. If you found this video to be helpful, won't you like it? Better yet, subscribe. Ring the bell when you do so you'll be notified approximately every Friday. And check out our merch at dirtfarmerj.com forward slash shop. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay going to enjoy a great side dish of fresh corn on the cob.